Hi, my name is Greg Ciola. I'm with the Investigators Report, and I'm doing a video interview today with uh, Dr. Beth Lay. Dr. Beth Lay has uh, written numerous books. In fact, I should say a lot more than numerous books. She's written many different health books. Uh, one of them that I came across recently on uh, MSM is one that I wanted to uh, actually reach out and talk to her more about with this interview. But uh, before I actually get into the MSM book, let me introduce Dr. Beth to the program. Uh, Dr. Beth, thanks for being on the show. Hi, Greg. Happy to be here. Great to see you, Beth. Um, great to have you on. I know you're buried in uh, snow and below freezing weather up there, but uh, anyway, I think we got a lot of good information we can we can get out of here for this interview. Uh, let me just start by asking you, Beth, to tell our audience a little bit about your background in the nutritional supplement industry. Um, this book here says you've sold over 250,000 copies, so you're a well-known author in the industry. So let's just kind of give our audience a little background history of who you are. Um, well, after um, my undergraduate uh, uh, degree, which was in scientific and technical writing, um, I did get a job as a writer in the health industry. Um, that's where I got my uh, start writing books. Um, and uh, from there, I uh, moved on to Southern California, where I worked for uh, quite a few uh, supplement manufacturers, helping them with research, development, um, education, um, you know, writing books for, you know, them as well. Um, and uh, they would buy a lot of books from me to help them educate the public about, you know, various products such as MSM. Um, MSM, unfortunately, and this, you know, this was back in the 80s and 90s, unfortunately, MSM is still not as popular as it should be, you know, even with the number of books out there on MSM, the number of books that, you know, that, uh, that I have, uh, you know, made available to the people, um, it's kind of amazing that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy to do this interview to get the word out. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, Tell us how many books you've written, Beth, and where are your books sold? Um, well, like I said, I started writing books in the 80s. <laughs> um, I've probably written 40 books for myself that are available on Amazon and my website. Um, several of them, um, including the MSM book, are uh, available on Kindle on Amazon. Um, but I've written a whole host of other books, like I said, you know, specifically for clients that I am not marketing. Um, a lot of multi-level companies have uh, had me write books for them to educate about various products. Um, but, you know, if you go to my website, you'll find that, you know, over 30 different books that I've written, um, you know, that just have my name on them. Like I said, I've done a lot of ghostwriting and other things. Give out your website, Beth, so that people can uh, find out. Okay. How to That's reach you. www. Recipes for Life with Dr. Beth. Dot com. Uh, doctor is just dr. It's not spelled out. Everything else is spelled out. Okay. On the back of the book, it, what's the blpublications.com? That's different, or does that forward to that? That will forward to that. That is my former address. Okay. Well, the main reason why I wanted to do this interview really was with the MSM. We've been selling MSM for, gosh, since 2010, I believe, 2011, right around there. And um, like you, I've been in this industry for probably 30 years. My dad owned a health food store up in New York, and he was in sports nutrition for a while. So I've been around and... I have never come across a product that I've seen so many different testimonials, have heard so many different reports, the reorders on the product, what people say it's done for them, the pain that's gone away, the joint issues that feel better, the allergies that are better, just the detoxification, you name it, it, it goes on and on. I, I could spend three hours talking about how, how good it is, and we don't have time, obviously, on this interview, but... Let me, let's get into that a little bit with you. What what really got you so passionate about the MSM and what it's done for you? It was um, in the early 90s. I was in a bad car accident. 
I developed uh, TMJ, which is temporal mandibular joint syndrome, which is essentially arthritis in the jaw. I had a tremendous amount of scar tissue that gave me lots of pain, chronic headaches, and um, eventually I had uh, surgery on both sides of the jaw to, uh, to scrape out the scar tissue and whatnot. And uh, fortunately, it did fix the problem. Unfortunately, the pain came back in about a year. Um, the person who was responsible for the accident had paid all my medical bills, so, um, you know, I was kind of in a tough situation, and I was uh, um, working at an event, a chiropractic event, and, uh, you know, selling my books and whatnot, and uh, someone approached me asking me, you know, I think he saw me take some pain medication, and he asked me, you know, what was going on, and I told him, he asked me if I was familiar with MSM, and surprisingly, I wasn't because I was very much in tune, you know, in the supplement industry at that time. Um, you know, had formulated tons of products for, for clients and, uh, you know, was very, very involved. But here was something I'd never heard of. Um, but, of course, I'm, you know, my own guinea pig most of the time. I try all kinds of different supplements, and so I was certainly willing to give it a try. And um, he instructed me how to take it, you know, how much to take, what to do. And um, sure enough, um, within probably three days, I felt tingling that was, you know, very unusual, very different. Um, I thought it was a good thing. And, um, you know, soon after that, I definitely felt like, wow, my pain is it's improving, it's going away. You know, the inflammation was going down. I didn't have to ice it as much. And um, fortunately, you know, I, at that time, I took 30 gram, 30, wow. uh, 30,000 grams a day. Um, I mean, it's, it's a very, very large amount. Um, I probably took that for a couple of weeks before I started to taper down. Uh, my maintenance now is 8,000. Um, sometimes I do increase it to uh, 12 or maybe 16 during um, allergy season or if I have, you know, some hay fever um, because it does work well for that too. But, um, you know, I really it's been over 25 years. The pain in my jaw has not come back. And I was seriously worried that I was going to have to have some kind of jaw surgery every year, um, you know, to stay out of pain. But MSM, you know, with it, um, you know, its ability to prevent and heal scar, scar tissue, its anti-inflammatory properties. I mean, it absolutely has, you know, made me a huge believer. Um, so I was very excited to, uh, to get the word out to people because uh, it was very unknown at that time. And so that's how the book came out. Hmm. And so do you actually um, deal with patients as well on a one-on-one -on -one basis or do you consult patients? Right. In the uh, late, uh, you know, I was probably back in school at that time. Um, I graduated in uh, 1998 uh, with my um, master's and Ph.D. in nutrition. And so in 2000, I started um, seeing patients doing nutrition counseling, um, mostly over the phone and email um, because I'm, you know, I, I like to live in more remote areas. And, uh, you know, for many years, my husband and I had a, a national TV show. And so I have patients all over the country, um, you know, who don't want to travel to Minnesota just to see me. So I, I do work with patients, um, like I said, primarily over the phone and email. And, um, you know, MSM is probably, you know, I would say 8 out of 10 people I do recommend MSM to. Um, uh, it just has so many benefits for so many people. And, of course, you know, I tend to have an older clientele where uh, health problems are, you know, become more prevalent as we get older. And um, joint problems is just so, so common. And, um, you know, it just kills me to hear about someone who's, you know, taking an over-the-counter pain reliever such as ibuprofen or Aleve on a daily basis just to manage their pain. Uh, we now know how toxic these things are for the kidneys and the liver, um, not to mention that uh, every time you take one pill, it increases your risk for a heart attack, I think, by over 40%. So um, yeah, MSM is a huge, huge part of my practice for my patients. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's amazing. So you're seeing the same thing uh, with your patients then. It, what do you think is the biggest benefit? I know you're talking arthritis and pain. Is is that uh, where you see the most reporting back from your clients that they've gotten the best results? Or are there other areas of health that you think people are also getting good results? Well, because of its anti-inflammatory benefits, um, you know, it you know, arthritis is huge, you know, but we also have bursitis, we have allergies, we have sinusitis, there's, you know, pretty much any condition that ends with ITIS, you know, is inflammatory related. So it can benefit a huge variety of conditions, but I would definitely say the most popular or the most common, um, you know, reason that I do recommend it is for, you know, joint pain, joint pain, um, you know, osteoarthritis, um, it, but it can also be rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I recommend it for acne um, and especially younger kids, um, not only for the anti-inflammatory aspects, but also for the detox. Um, you know, kids, because they have a high metabolism, they can eat all kinds of junk and uh, mm. not gain weight, but there's still consequences, and lots of times you see them, their skin. You know, um, and so uh, it's a tremendous benefit for any type of skin problem. Um, those, I've seen benefits for rosacea. Um, you know, I mean, the list is very, very long. But uh, as I mentioned, I found it very beneficial for um, uh, allergies and sinus problems, and so I also recommend it for that. Um, and uh, so it might, you might not need a high dose, you know, all year round. But those seasonal times when, um, you know, like hay fever season, you know, it's a great time to just increase your dose. Um, and uh, they can, you know, definitely get relief from that. Yeah, well, I noticed that with myself. That was the biggest area that I got the results from with MSM uh, was allergies. I struggled with allergies for years and years. Uh, literally, as soon as I'd wake up in the morning, my feet would hit the ground and my nose would start running. I'd sneeze. I, I have you know, different allergies to pets and pet dander. And I had a, you know, golden retriever for 12 years. Uh, but I have a husky now who sheds worse than any dog I've ever had in my life. And I barely have any issues with him now. And I know that it's the MSM. In fact, after about two or three days of being on that product, it, it totally cleared up my, my allergies, my nose issues, the, the stuffiness. And um, yeah. we even have this version that um, is, in a, is in a spray with MSM and colloidal silver and a little hint of uh, peppermint oil. And I spray that up my nose every day, and it works phenomenal, especially for uh, keeping you from getting sick in the wintertime. Cold and flu works amazing. Yep. And also, uh, I go to the gym. I work out pretty intense when I hit the gym. And the big thing I noticed with MSM, less soreness in my muscles, more strength, better workouts. Um and you, you talk about some things in this book here. I don't want to give everything away. I'd like people to order the book because the book's, the book's amazing. Um, but tell us about pets because that's a huge area of health. And a lot of people don't really think of taking MSM and using it for their pets. But one of the things that really fascinated me when I got on the whole MSM story was that this is an ingredient that they actually give to the horses, that uh, all your professional yeah. thoroughbred horses are given MSM because it gives them strength. Stamina helps their speed, energy, recovery, their joints, their stress, you name it. And that, those all are the same benefits that we experience in our bodies with it. So to pick up on that a little bit with the pets. Yeah, I, when I was, um, you know, researching for the book, I found it very interesting that horse people um, were actually very familiar with MSM. And... Um, you know, here in the health industry, no one had heard of it, but they were very familiar. They were, you know, like you said, giving it to their horses. Um, and so, you know, when, you know, I've always had a dog. I've been a dog lover my, you know, for my whole life. And, um, you know, when my uh, Dalmatian got to be up into her, her, you know, probably 12, 13 years old, um, you know, I could see that she was getting a little, you know, stiff and arthritic. And I started giving her MSM. I could definitely tell a difference. And I started telling my friends about it, you know. They would ask, you know, I would, well, one of the first persons was a friend of mine, and I was at her house, and uh, 
her dog was kind of limping around, and I asked her how old, you know, how old her dog was, because I thought, well, it had to be at least 13, 14 years old. And she told me that, you know, he was only like eight, and I was like heartbroken. I said, well, you know, you, you need to give this dog MSM. And, you know, it wasn't even a month later, she called me back and she says, you know, i got to get more of that MSM. She says, I have a new dog. She says, he's running around like a puppy again. And so now I frequently, you know, uh, you know, tell people about, you know, MSM for their pets, especially for joint problems, but, you know, it has so many other benefits as well. You know, it's good for the vessels that, you know, MSM is basically a natural source of sulfur. And people don't really think about sulfur as a component of the body. They think about, you know, calcium and magnesium. But people kind of forget about sulfur, you know, which is where, um, you know, how I named the book. I called it the forgotten nutrient, MSM, on our way back to health and sulfur. Um, it turns out that sulfur is actually the third largest mineral in the body. So we need a lot of it, and that is another, um, you know, thing that I encourage people is, you know, you can't really overdose on it. Um, you, uh, you know, the more you take, the faster it works. Um, you just, you know, and people usually don't take enough of it. If they tell me, well, I ask them how they're doing, they say, well, I don't know if it's working, how much are you taking? And, you know, they're only taking a couple grams a day, and that's just not enough. Like I said, I take 8 grams as a maintenance, and sometimes I go up to 12 and even 16 grams a day. Um, you know, I mean, now I'm in my mid-50s, and, you know, I've got other things going on besides uh, the TMJ I had back in the 1990s. But, um, you know, it's just, I, I wouldn't be without it. I absolutely would not be without it, and I'm not afraid to take lots of it. Um, and I've seen, um, now we've got a younger Dalmatian, and she um, has some type of inflammatory dis disorder. It may be rheumatoid arthritis. She's had it since she's only about four months old. And, of course, she's on an excellent diet. You know, they get a homemade diet. I don't buy any processed food for them. And... Um, you know, she gets fish oil, she gets MSM and um, probiotics, and, you know, she does very well. Um, they wanted to put her on Rimadyl. They tried to tell me how much pain she was going to be in. And, um, you know, I'm not going to give my dog, you know, something toxic when I can simply give her natural things that are going to support her um, and, you know, heal her. MSM is not just anti-inflammatory, but actually helps heal all of the tissues that, you know, need lots of sulfur in their composition. So it's a basically an essential nutrient that people just don't think about. They don't, you know, like I said, it's kind of forgotten about, even though it's extremely important for our tissues. Yeah. I, I, as much research as I, as I have done over the years, I've come to the conclusion that it's one of the most important supplements we need to be taking. You really boil so many different health problems down to uh, mineral deficiencies in the body and amino acid imbalances or, or deficiencies. A lot of it stems from the digestion. Now, you talked about the MSM and how important it is in the body. Uh, the research that I've come across says that there's over there are over 150 different chemicals made in the human body that all require sulfur, including four amino acids, yep. methionine, cysteine, homocysteine, and taurine. They all require sulfur in the body um, I've done some different radio interviews myself and I've given the answer but I'd like to hear what you have to say on it I don't, you might not be as as uh, wild about your your saying as I would but why do you think there is such a sulfur deficiency today Beth because it almost seems conspiratorial uh, it's linked to so many different health problems and uh, I've I've kind of broken it down to a lot of the different pesticides and chemicals in our foods. But what what's your take on why there's a massive sulfur epidemic in this in this country? Well, absolutely. When you're you know when you're using things like Roundup, you are disrupting um, the ability of the plant to absorb these nutrients from, especially minerals, from the soil. So that's a huge part of it. You know, another part of it is it's just plain. 
Um, you know, we haven't taken care of our soil, so there's not enough MSM in our soil anymore. Um, there's, uh, you know, it is found in foods, you know, lots of our vegetables, um, but it's lost in cooking because it's extremely water soluble. Um, so if you're steaming or boiling, um, you know, there's, there's just tons of, uh, you know, unfortunately nutrient loss. Things like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, onions, uh, garlic, you know, these, yes, these are sources of natural sulfur, but if you're eating them cooked, a lot of it is just gone. And the, there's tons of studies that show the nutrient composition of certain foods back in the 1950s compared to what the nutrient composition is today, and it's, it's absolutely frightening. You know, you have to eat like 30 times more servings of broccoli today to get the nutrient value that they did in 1950 from one serving. And it, it, it goes on and on and on. Um, you know, antioxidants, minerals, vitamins, um, you know, we're just not getting the nutrient value in our foods today. And like, you know, I think we agree on a lot of it has to do with the chemicals, um, you know, the pesticides and whatnot that's being applied to with the plants, the soil. Um, and so it's, it's a huge problem, you know, that this is saying that, um, you know, we, we overeat, but we're undernourished. We just don't get the nutrition. And so supplements are just critical, um, you know, for health today. I can't imagine, um, you know, not having these supplements available. Um, you know, I definitely have my favorites that I am always well stocked on because I don't want to run out. But, um, you know, MSM is definitely near the very top of the list. Let me pick up on another question here, because um, you've worked with a lot of people that sound like they might be sick or elderly. Have you had any experience working with any athletes or pro athletes with MSM? Because I found some phenomenal research about how it can protect um, the the joints from injuries and things like that. And you know, these athletes today are getting more injured than ever before. The football players, the basketball players. When I mean, you watch these football games, they're carting these guys off on stretchers one after the other. They're taking out you know, five guys a game. It's it's unbelievable. And yet, I don't really see hardly anybody in professional sports talking about MSM. No, unfortunately, um, there's, I mean, I'm sure there, there are a few, um, you know, that, that take some supplements and, and MSM, but as a whole, you just don't see it. It's really sad. And I you know, I think it goes back to education. It goes back to their reliance upon mainstream medical. Um, you know, most of them have never heard of MSM, um, even though the research is there, you know. Um, but, you know, you literally have to sit and read, you know, PubMed or Medline or Science Daily. You know, you have to take hours a day reading to keep up on all the research. And that's not what they care to do, you know, their interests are more in pharmaceuticals, um, maybe surgery, um, but that's not how you heal the body. You know, it may correct um, a certain issue um, in certain situations, but, you know, it's really not a solution. Um, you know, the underlying problem that led to the pain or the, um, the terror or whatever, um, you know, probably lack of just the, the tissue wasn't healthy to begin with. I mean, obviously, some of these athletes do football. Um, you know, the, the strain and the, the torment and the pressure that they put on their muscles and ligaments and cartilage is, you know, almost unbelievable. But, um, you know, because sulfur is a main ingredient in all of our connective tissue, which is our cartilage and our collagen, um, all of our joints, all of our mucous membranes, um, you know, even our vessels, um, and, and to some extent muscles, if there's not enough of, you know, one of the main ingredients, you know, you're going to end up with compromise. And I, I always like to give the description, you know, I'm, I'm a cook, I'm a baker, and, um, you know, lots of people have, you know, at least maybe made cookies. <laughs> and so they see how much flour, you know, it's so the largest ingredient, you know, to make cookies is, is going to be flour. So that's like sulfur. 
if you don't put in enough flour or if you don't have enough sulfur, there's going to be compromise in your end product. So it's just, it's just the same way with our body. If you don't have enough of the main ingredient to make up that tissue, it's not going to be as healthy as it should be, making it more vulnerable, you know, to, uh, you know, to damage. Do you think that everybody should be taking sulfur, or do you think there are people that shouldn't take it? You know, it's, it's, I, it's impossible to eat a perfect diet. It's, it's impossible to, uh, to get all your nutrients, I feel, from food. I don't care if you're eating organic, if you're growing them in your own garden. Um, I still think people need to supplement. And I, I just, I see too many joint problems, too many people with allergies, too many people with asthma. MSM is phenomenal for asthma. Yes, you have to take a lot, but it is phenomenal. Um, and you mentioned the same with allergies, you know, but you have to take the right amount. You can't expect to take one gram and, you know, expect this miracle to take place. You have to take the right amount. And you're going to need a different amount than I do and a different amount than a child and a different amount than a pet. So, you know, the dosages is very important and it's going to vary. Um, but, but I, I, I can't see, see suffering through any, 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 you know, so many of these health problems um, when all you have to do is take MSM. Well, the other thing that I talk about with MSM is that it's a catalyst. So anything you put into your body, nutritionally speaking, it makes it work better. Um, have you come across that as well? Do you talk about that in any of your research? Well, it makes sense because it's, it's found in so many of our tissues in the body. Um, um, and, of course, it's, you know, that's how the body does work. There's nothing really works by itself, you know, um, especially if you're taking uh, uh, MSM for a joint problem. You know, you're going to want to take, make sure you're taking some vitamin C and also probably some trace minerals because everything does work together. Um, so, you know, yes, I think it's a huge important part of the equation and everything is, you know, everything does work together. All right, well, that's some amazing information, uh, Dr. Beth, that you've shared, and I wish I could keep you on even longer, but uh, we're actually out of time. Um, I've got your website up on the screen again if anybody watching this video wants to pull up your information. It's Recipes for Life with Dr. Beth. Dot com. Uh, Beth, are there any other services you offer that, that people would want to contact you for besides just the books? I see test uh, Yes, I do um, offer a nutrition counseling by phone and email. Um, so you can either uh, you know go to the website and click on nutrition counseling, or you can call me at 218-363-6719. Um, I'm located in uh, northern Minnesota, so that's uh, we're on the central time. And, um, and we've got uh, over 30 different books. Um, I do have supplements, the nutrition counseling. Um, we do uh, some saliva testing, pH testing. Um, we've got uh, alkaline water systems. We've, you know, we've uh, tried to treat the whole body, of course. Um so uh, be happy to hear from you. Yeah, well, it was great having you on the show, Beth, and Dr. Beth, I'm sorry. Um, and I appreciate your time, and I'd love to do some further interviews, even more on MSM, but I'd also like to cover some of the other topics you've written books about. Um, you're a, a treasure chest of information and somebody that I really respect in the industry and uh, somebody who's really what I call boots on the ground. You've been out there in the trenches in this industry so it's not like you're just uh, a nobody sitting behind a desk. So anyway, uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for all your information, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Greg.